Hey guys, it's Erin of Erin Wath and Wellness. I just wanted to make a video because I haven't made one lately because my kids have nothing to do right now and we were on vacation and I really couldn't make one without screaming in the background. I came home early. No one is here but me. I'm going on a business trip tomorrow to California. I will post from there because it should be pretty picturesque. It's my birthday yesterday. Yay me. Listening to Katy Perry in the background because... She's got a birthday song. And I wanted to talk about a problem. The summer screw-its. It's a thing. So right about now, you've got about 10 days-ish before Labor Day. It's really easy to say, screw it. I'm just going to worry about my health later. So pass the beer, pass the nachos, pass the whatever. Whatever your personal thing is. Here's the deal with that. Remember how I always talk about breaking up with food being like the bad boyfriend, right? So for those of you that haven't read my book or you have no idea what I'm talking about. So when we break up with sugar for good, not the fake breakups, but like the real breakup, we can't do stuff like booty calls. <laughs> Meaning just travel a little, try a little. Our brain won't let us and our body won't let us because as soon as we introduce it bad things right psychologically we want it chemically we want it it just doesn't work so the best thing to do is just to take the guy's phone number out of your phone pretend he never existed burn his stuff whatever you have to do for the guy analogy so in the same way when we eat a bunch of crap day after day week after week when we're on vacation or if it's just the summer that collectively makes it so much harder to stop doing it. So if you've been doing that this summer and you're like, it's 10 days from Labor Day, what's the point in me stopping now? Like, screw it, right? It's going to get that much harder. With each day you eat more crap, it's that much harder to stop eating crap. Your energy levels are going to get less. You're going to be crabbier. Things aren't going to fit right. So do your future self a favor, the self of yours that's going to be on Labor Day, and cut back on that crap. Drink more water. Get more sleep. Get more movement. Only have nachos every other meal. What a concept. Drink less. Because your future self will thank you so much if you're not completely miserable the week of Labor Day because you've decided to quit all that stuff cold turkey. All those extreme foods... You know, the chips at the liquor store, um, ice cream sodas or shakes or all that weird stuff you see on vacation. In the summer, let's face it, the summer's a long time. It's very intense food. The dopamine receptors in our brain get very excited by these foods. Our brain doesn't get that excited about an apple and a chicken breast, right? But that's what we really need. So if we go from the super exciting, you know, big burgers with onion rings hanging out from it back to normal food I mean we're gonna have a really pissed off body right but that's what we need we need the normal food so do yourself a favor and start pulling back from the crap because there's no way to game this system there's no way to eat crap all summer or even the last two weeks of summer without suffering the consequences chemically even if you calorically can get away with it, right? You have fast metabolism, you work out, whatever, whatever. Chemically, your body is still going to react to the sugar or the high fructose corn syrup or the really intense whatever that's in that food. And there's no tooth fairy, sorry. So before I sign off, just really think about cutting back and all that stuff because the summer screw it, you will not regret pulling back a little bit before Labor Day, okay? All right, thanks, bye.